This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next model is Rutherford nuclear model of atom. Okay, so just uh, see this. Uh, this is the Rutherford nuclear model of atom. This is the second one. Uh, first one is uh, I have explained you about Thomson model of atom. Correct. So now just consider this is a Rutherford nuclear model of atoms. Okay. So in this Rutherford nuclear model at atom, so Rutherford famous alpha particle scattering experiment he is represented in figure. Uh, the, as shown in this figure uh, okay so this is a alpha particle scattering experiment so this is alpha particle sc alpha particle scattering experiment this is alpha particle scattering experiment okay so as here as shown in this figure a stream of high energy alpha particles from radioactive source okay so this is a radioactive source so consider that uh, this is as the radioactive source okay so this is a radioactive source alpha particles okay a stream of high energy alpha particles from radioactive source was directed at a thin foil which is about thickness 100 nanometer of gold metal okay so this is 100 nanometer of gold metal lead plate okay so that uh, after the thin gold foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide this is a gold foil so which is having a circular zinc sulfide okay so uh, around it whenever alpha particle struck the screen a tiny flash of light was produced at that point okay so where uh, in tiny it will be produced at that point okay tiny flash of light was produced at that point so this is a source of alpha particles a stream of radioactive source was directed at a thin foil okay so which is uh, of gold metal okay thin gold foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide screen around it next so next is uh, so just consider uh, observe this one the this one this is the figure as this is the figure okay so here come to, you can come to know that these are the sum of the alpha particles okay so where if this is a thin gold foil some of the alpha particles are deflected okay like this and the sum of the alpha particles are deflected like this and the sum of the alpha particles are deflected like this so just make observation on this figure so i what i will explain you then you will come to know that so see most of the alpha particles okay so Huh. see most of the alpha particles are passed through the gold foil and deflected so without the deflection so this is considered this as a gold foil so these are the alpha particles without deflection they are moving like this so a small of fraction of the alpha particles this is the first point okay in the second point what happens a small fraction of the alpha particles was deflected by small angles like uh, this consider this as a gold foil so like this they may be deflect okay so and uh, whatever like this so uh, they may be deflect like this so very few alpha particles bound back that is were deflected by nearly 180 degree like they will go like this and they come back like this so this is a gold foil okay this is gold foil so this is about the experimental observation of the scattering experiment the scattering experiment which is proposed by the uh, rutherford okay so this is a rutherford model so uh, coming to the postulates of the rutherford model okay so almost all the positive charge and mass of atom is present in its nucleus okay so as in the observation all almost all the positive charges whatever the positive charges are present okay so the pos positive charges means uh, which is nothing but protons okay so positive charges and mass of the atom is present in its nucleus okay all the positive charges and mass of the atom which is present uh, present in the nucleus okay uh, wait.
so which is present in the nucleus electrons revolve around the nucleus in a circular orbit so, so this this is a nucleus if you are considering so this is the orbits okay where the electrons are moving where the electrons are present okay so they are uh, revolve around the nucleus uh, there are many of the orbits will come so the electrons are present in it so so in this nucleus the positive charges are present that is protons okay so and there is a strong electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and electrons so this is the nucleus means okay this is the nucleus there is a small attraction whatever the strong electrostatic attraction between the nucleus okay so as the postulates uh, it is having a limitations also which could not explain the stability and the electronic structure of atom so the first one is it cannot explain the stability of the atom stability okay which cannot explain the stability of and electronic structure of atom okay it cannot explain the structure of atom also and also stability of the atom also so this is about the rutherford's model according to the rutherford uh, what he regarding to the structure of atom he given the conclusion for that okay uh, how he is given the conclusion means most of the alpha particles uh, most of the space in the atom so uh, first one is uh, I just consider this as an atom which is empty okay space in the atom is empty as most of the alpha particles through the uh, foil undeflected so if uh, without deflection if the alpha particles are passing like this means uh, the whole whatever inside this uh, which is empty okay so without deflection if they are moving means it is empty next come to the a few uh, positively charged alpha particles are deflected that we know correct some of the alpha particles are deflected calculations by rutherford showed that the volume occupied by the nucleus is negligibly small as compared to the totem volume of the atom so just you consider this as an atom so in that the this much may be present okay nucleus is present this much okay which is present at the center of the atom okay that only they are telling negligibly small as compared to the total volume of the atom so this is about the rutherford conclusion regarding to the structure of atoms okay and the next one is rutherford nuclear model of atom so in that uh, first one i given the experimental observation after that he said about the structure of atoms okay rutherford kind of structure of atoms how the atoms is whatever it contains and all he explained and after that there is a rutherford nuclear model of atom so very small portion of the atom was called nucleus correct as he's he only said that this is a consider this as an atom so if you are considering this as a nucleus only small part okay portion of the atom is called nucleus okay the nucleus is surrounded by the electrons okay yes these are the electrons okay so if considering this as a orbit means so in this electrons are revolving okay uh, the nucleus is surrounded by electrons that move around the nucleus with a very high speed in a circular path called orbit so you may you can come across this question what do you mean by orbits okay where the electrons the path of the electrons where they are uh, revolving around the nucleus that is called the path is called orbit okay then electrons and the nucleus are held together by electrostatic forces of attraction okay just i now said that electro by how the electrons are revolving means there is a electron and nucleus in between there is a electrostatic force of attraction next coming to the next topic so now the two models are over thomson atomic model and rutherford nuclear model so rutherford scattering experiment is also over then come to the next topic is atomic mass and mass number okay i think so do you have any idea about atomic mass and mass number please let me know if you know if you have any idea about atomic mass and mass number okay huh. what do you mean by atomic mass and mass number So before coming to know that what do you mean by atoms okay i think so you you have a very familiar with the word atom okay so so that's why i will explain you about atomic uh, number and atomic mass number okay so atoms contains mainly three fundamental particles that we know correct atoms how, what they are containing atoms containing uh, atoms containing what 
you know what atoms containing protons neutrons and electrons correct so atoms containing protons neutrons and electrons except hydrogen okay so where hydrogen which is not containing all these three okay so uh, which is containing atoms protons neutrons and electrons since all the elements and compounds have the mass atom also has a mass all the elements also having the elements so what they are having all the elements are also having the mass and uh, atoms are also having the mass correct so the total mass of an atom is concentrated in a nucleus which has a very small volume okay so whatever the mass you consider this as a atom so in that this is the nucleus if you considering means whatever the total mass is present in the uh, concentrated in a nucleus which has a very small volume okay so electrons are arranged in outer part of the nucleus okay so if you are considering the uh, this is a nucleus and this is the outer part okay so you consider this as a orbits where the electrons are revolving around the nucleus the total mass which is concentrated uh, in the volume of the nucleus okay so this is the just observation okay the positive charge of the nucleus is due to the due to the protons okay because neutrons are electrically neutral whatever the positive charges of nucleus positive charges uh, this is the nucleus okay so where the nucleus where the positive charges are present these are called protons and there is no because uh, neutrons are also they are neutral atoms okay so because uh, neutral uh, neutrons are electrically neutral the charge on the electron is equal but opposite to that of the electron we know the charge on the what charge on the proton proton is equal to electron as in the discovery of proton and electron i just first i explained you about electron and then i explained you about proton correct so as charge charge on the electron which is opposite to that of the neutron because charge on the electron which is a negative okay so this is about the charge on the electron okay so the charge on the proton is equal but opposite to that of the electron the number of protons present the number of protons present please uh, note it down okay i will erase it so that uh, uh, now uh, you, you will easily understand what do you mean by atomic number i said that in this is the orbit okay so where this is the nucleus what all the mass are concentrated in the nucleus where electrons are the revolve around the nucleus whatever the positive charges are present in the nucleus okay where the neutrons are electrically neutral okay now just the number of protons present in the nucleus in an atom is called atomic number whatever the number of protons are present in the nucleus these are called what this is called atomic number which is represented by z see here the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is called uh, is called atomic number or the number of electrons in a neutral atom that is called atomic number then come to the uh, then come to the mass number okay so now you got what do you mean by atomic number okay whatever the positive charges are present that is called atomic number then mass number means number of protons plus number of neutrons okay where this is called whatever the present protons plus neutrons so which is called the mass number okay so this is called mass number mass of a nucleus is due to protons and neutrons protons and neutrons which are present in the nucleus are collectively known as nucleons now what do you mean by nucleons okay where protons and neutrons are present in the nucleus that is called nucleons okay the collectively known as nucleons thus mass number or atomic number which is represented by using a so this is a and this is z so how it is represented means like this now which is generally uh, this is represented like in generally the total atomic mass and mass number okay which is uh, okay which is represented like uh, this is a and this is x and this is z okay so wait i will write here a x and this is z so where x is the 
indicated by this is a element okay which is any element x is an any element a is the you know just now i explained mass number and z is the atomic number so uh, this is x is symbol of for the element okay so this is about atomic and mass number okay and uh, so i will uh, this is just uh, remember what is atomic number what is mass number and what are the nucleons how it is represented okay so you, uh, in that in this you make uh, you having uh, maybe there will be a what do you uh, you will get uh, some of the problems uh, okay based on this atomic mass and mass number